So the first one we're going to kind of take a look at is our um, power rule for integrals. So um, again, when we want to go find and take the antiderivative, what we're going to be doing is we're going to now be um, adding one to the exponent and then dividing by whatever that power is going to be. So that's basically our power rule for integration. So for example, if you look now on page 9 and you look at example 1a, we have the integral of a sum and a difference. So just like we have to do with our derivatives, there may be some rewriting we need to do. So first of all, we want to rewrite any radicals into fractional exponents, and I'm just going to break this up into my integral of x to the negative 1 half dx. We always include that dx at the end. Minus, again, cube root of 8 I know is 2. So I have 2, and again, you can yank out that constant, x to the 1 third dx. Plus, rewrite this fourth root of x as your integral of 3x to the negative 1 fourth, plus 1 half, the integral of 1 half dx. Again, you can pull the constant of 3 out and the constant of 1 half out. So now, to actually find the antiderivative, what I need to do is I need to add 1 to this particular exponent. So that's going to give me x to the 1 half. And again, I need to divide by 1 half. So when I divide by 1 half, that's going to give me a 2x to the 1 half. So the antiderivative of x to the negative 1 half is 2x to the 1 half. You can always check this. You can check this by actually finding the derivative of 2x to the 1 half. And that should get you the x to the negative 1 half. Minus 2 times, I'm going to take the antiderivative of x to the 1 third. So I'm going to add 1 to 1 third. So that's going to give me x to the 4 thirds. And then I need to divide by 4 thirds, which means I'm going to multiply by 3 fourths. Remember, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Plus, again, I can pull the constant of 3 out times add 1 to my exponent of negative 1 fourth. That's going to give me x to the 3 fourths divided by 3 fourths or multiplying by 4 thirds. Plus, again, I can pull that constant out. Again, my integral of 1 is just x. Plus, you always include that arbitrary, arbitrary constant of c. Because remember, when you ever take the derivative of constant, it's 0. So you could have a constant at the end here. So now if I clean this up, I end up with 2x to the 1 half. Again, 2 times 3 fourths is going to give you a minus 3 halves x to the 4 thirds plus 3x to the 3 fourths times 4 thirds. This is going to leave me with 4x to the 3 fourths plus 1 half x plus c. So there's your antiderivative. You must always include that plus c when you're doing your antiderivative. Let's take a look at letter B. So for letter B, again, first thing I'm going to do is to define the antiderivative is I'm going to simplify this algebraically and then distribute. So I'm going to take the integral, again, I'm going to change this to t to the 1 half times, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 1 minus t times 1 minus t, so that's going to give me a 1, minus 2t plus t squared dt. Next, I'm going to distribute. So 1 times t to the 1 half is a t to the 1 half. Minus 2t, again, 1 plus 1 half is t to the 3 halves. Plus t squared times t to the 1 half is going to give me t to the 5 halves. So now that I've simplified inside that in integrand, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to apply <coughs> and to actually find the antiderivative. So again, t to the 1 half, I have to add 1 to the exponents. So that's going to give me a t to the 3 halves. When I divide by 3 halves, I'm going to multiply by 2 thirds. Minus 2 times, again, I need to add 1 to my exponent. So that's going to give me t to the 5 halves. Divide by 5 halves or multiply by 2 fifths plus add 1 to my power, so that's t to the 7 halves. Again, divide by 7 halves, which means I'm going to multiply by 2 sevenths. And don't forget to add your c. So now I can clean this up. So I have 2 thirds t to the 3 halves minus 4 fifths t to the 5 halves 
plus 2 sevenths t to the 7 halves plus c. So there's my antiderivative for part b.